Hey guys, this is Driving TV and welcome once again to our channel. In today's video, we will go over the road test or driving test maneuvers to assist all new drivers in obtaining their driver's license. By now you should be familiar with everything you're about to see on the test. Hope you have already practiced each technique a few times and you are comfortable when performing them. While it is completely normal to feel a bit nervous before the road test, some students find test anxiety debilitating, unable to concentrate. This is normal. Just try to calm down, relax, keep in mind that the more relaxed you are, the better. If you don't pass the first time for any silly mistake, do not worry. It happens. Just learn from it and go and try again as soon as possible. Hope you enjoy our video and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any future videos. So now let's get started. So the big day has come. Let's go over everything you're about to see on the road test. Once you get to the DMV office and meet with the DMV examiner, you will go into the testing area where your car is. Hopefully, this is the same car you have been practicing with. If not, once you get inside, make sure you adjust the seat, the mirrors, and put the seatbelt on and wait for instructions from the examiner. One thing that you need to know is that obtaining a perfect score, while it is certainly possible during a driving evaluation, your examiner does not expect that or requires it. All that is expected or required is a passing score. Contrary to what you might believe, the DMV examiners are not out to pass or fail anybody. They're out to assess performance, and if the performance is good enough, you will get a passing score, and if it's not enough, you will get a failing score. Through my experience, this is what the DMV examiners are looking for. It's more than just proper driving mechanics. There are certain clues and signals that the examiner will be looking for to develop an overall picture of your driving ability, the command that you show over the vehicle, and to make sure that you have proper awareness of your surroundings. Once you're inside the car with the examiner, do not turn on the car. Wait for the examiner's instructions to do so. Now, most likely he or she will ask you to turn on or off the headlights, windshield wipers, left and right turn signal, emergency flashers or hazard lights, and honk the horn just to make sure that everything is working properly. The examiner will go over the maneuvers he or she will be asking you to do during the exam. For example, parallel parking, three-point, several left and right turns, lane changes, backing up, U-turns, and parking the vehicle. While operating the vehicle, you should continue straight forward at all times, unless you receive an instruction from the examiner, and be aware that you are responsible for the safe operation of the vehicle the entire time. Now, we are going to go ahead and start the test. First thing that you will be doing is getting out of a parking space. First thing that we should have in mind is that we must have our vehicle in our reverse in order to be able to back out slowly. So already having that in mind, as we keep our awareness all around the area, like next to us or behind us, we will slowly begin backing out. Make sure that when doing this maneuver, to place your right hand over the passenger seat and always turn your head around and look towards the rear while backing up. Once you have the car positioned in the right lane, wait for the examiner's instruction to move forward. First and foremost, try not to drift to the right or left. Stay in the center of your lane. At this point, you will be asked to do multiple right or left turns. As soon as you are instructed to do this maneuver, go ahead and place the turn signal to the side the examiner instructed you. Make sure when making left turns to stay on the right lane at all times. Also when making right turns on a green light, remember you don't have to stop. If you stop, you are going to lose some points. So 
along the route, you will encounter a couple of stop signs. You must bring your vehicle to a complete halt at the stop line. If there is no stop line, stop before entering the crosswalk. If there is no marked crosswalk, stop before entering the intersection at a point near the intersecting roadway, where you have a clear view of approaching traffic. Every time you're stopping at a stop sign or a red light, make sure to wait at least 3 seconds. Don't stop and immediately continue. You must wait at least 3 seconds. At some point, you will be asked to do a lane change or a couple of lane changes. When asked to do this, make sure to signal immediately right after you were instructed to do so. And be sure to check your blind spot every time you're switching lanes. Let the examiner notice this. It's very important. Once you're instructed to do a reverse, Keep in mind that if your car has a rear view backup camera, you're not allowed to use this. You still have to look at the back window and check your mirrors. Also make sure to place the right arm over the passenger seat as I previously has stated. Parallel parking. This could be one of the toughest tasks for many of you. Hopefully you have practiced enough and you feel very comfortable performing it. Just relax and do the same thing, the same way you were doing when you were practicing. If you couldn't do it the first try or think that it's not going to work, correct it and try again. three-point turn. This shouldn't be that hard. When making a three-point turn, make sure that the road is clear, look both ways, which is very essential, and avoid hitting the curb. If you don't have a curb, make sure you don't get outside the street markings or go into the grass if there are no markings. U-turn while using proper lane changing techniques. Merge into the left lane of the roadway in which you are driving. Check for oncoming traffic. Check for the other vehicles turning into the lane or lanes you plan to enter from the other side of the roadway. Again, 
wait for all vehicles to clear before making a U-turn. Once the U-turn is complete, return to normal speed as soon as possible. Last but not least, when the examiner asks you to return back and park the vehicle, hopefully it is a left parking space. Make sure you signal ahead of time and complete this task carefully. Once you are parked, the instructor most likely will ask you to put the emergency brake. Make sure you know where it is, in your car, and how to do it. If they ask what's the distance from the curb you should park, the answer is 9 to 18 inches. Keep this in mind, just in case they ask. Well guys, we have covered a lot of information in this video. Hopefully by now, you feel more prepared for that road test. If you have any doubt, or you're struggling to complete any of these striving techniques, you can always check for the description in this video. We will leave you all the links for all the maneuvers covered in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, drive safely and good luck. See you in the next one. <music>